Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So today we'll be doing the part three of my Discord JS series. Today I'll be showing you guys how to make embeds and use arguments. So without any further ado, let's begin the video. I hope you'll enjoy. Okay, so I'm going to tell you guys what an argument is. But before that, you need to know a command can't have space between some sets of characters. For example, when I add a space to the command pin and now try to execute it. Uh, first, let me rerun the program. Yeah, there we go uh, and let me just execute it now as you can see the command won't work so uh, when a word is after a command name with a space it means that a word is an argument okay guys so now i'm going to use arguments in my ping command so I'll just change the command to when it doesn't get an argument it says ping but when the argument is pong it says pong so now let me type if uh, exclamation mark args length which which uh, the exclamation mark is a not operator so it means when the argument is not there and then message channel send ping and now let me type if args uh, zero which is the first argument is equal to pong the message reply pong is already there so i'll just add the curly brackets and yeah there we go so now i think it'll work perfectly let me just rerun the program So there we go let me just test it now and let me type ping it says ping and then now let me type ping pong there we go it mentions me and then says pong because it is message reply so yeah the command works all right guys so now i'm going to show you a simple agl command which gets your age gender and location and then prints them out so first i'll do exclamatory mark args length checks if your arguments are given and then it sends this message if uh, you haven't typed in any of your arguments so I'll do message.channel.send and then I'll type in the message that I want to send ok so now I'm going to do else if arg0 and and args one and and args 2 so I'm using the AND operator here, so the message is only going to be sent if, I, if all the three args are given. So yeah. So now also for the uh, message.channel.send, while sending the message, I'm going to use the grave accent instead of the quotation marks. This is because I have to define the arguments as well. So if you do dollar sign and then uh, both the curly brackets and inside you type in args1 or args2 or any of the arguments that the exact argument is actually printed out so yeah that's why I'm using the grave accent there so now let me just type the message okay so let me just rerun the program and after that I'll try it out okay so let me just test out the program right now I made the command and there we go uh, when I didn't send any of the arguments it's sending me a needed message and now let me just type some random arguments and there we go the command works Okay, so I think I'm going to end the video right here because it has already reached around 5 minutes. So yeah, next episode I'm going to be teaching you guys about embeds. So thanks for watching this video. Please leave a like, subscribe, comment, share and favorite. That's me signing out. See you on the next one. Peace.
like the cool blue light, like the cool.